Hi, I'm Robert from Move Work Forward. And in this video, we're going to cover commits and pull requests in Azure DevOps or Jira by Move Work Forward. Okay, so we have a brand new task in our project, a DDP-5, and we are going to create a new branch. So ensure the project you select matches the integration setup, otherwise you won't see the information in the development panel. And for this, I think we'll just go off the main branch. So just provide a suitable name and we will create the branch. So our branch has been created and we can now see it in Azure DevOps. So now that our branch has been created, if we have a quick refresh, we should see it listed here in the development panel. And we do indeed. Okay, so we are going to create a commit within this branch. And we will create that commit. Okay, so as we can see, it has been committed. And if we pop back and then have a quick refresh, we can now see our commit is also listed in the development panel. Now, while your eye can be drawn to create pull requests, you can ignore that as it is essentially a placeholder until a pull request has been created in Azure DevOps. So from this commit, we are going to create a pull request and we will click create. Okay, so if we have another refresh in our task, here we can see our pull request is created. And if we click on it, we can see it lists this. So the reviewer is currently empty. So we can now see our branch, our commit, and our pull request. Now if we pop back in and just change it slightly so we will approve it. So we can see it is now listed as approved by myself. And now if we have another refresh under the reviewer section, we should see the name listed. There we go, we can see it's been approved by myself. Now to change it up just a little, let's go back into our branch and we will create a new commit. Okay. And as we can see, the pull request has now been updated. We can see it's been updated as such. And if we have a quick refresh on our task, we can also see the second commit is listed. So we are going to go back into our pull request and we are going to complete it. So we will now complete the merge. And as we can see, it's completed and everything has gone smoothly. So now we'll pop back in, have one more refresh. And we can now see the pull request has been merged. So we can see our branches, our commits, our pull requests. This is based on the pull request we've just created and merged, and it is now testing it. So if we give this a moment, and we will then show the outcome. So if we refresh once more after a little bit of time, due to our pipeline builds, we can now see the build is complete, and it is available for testing. And there you have an overview of commits and pull requests in Ezra DevOps for Jira by Move Fork Forward. Thanks.